Hey everybody, I'm Taryn Michael Mai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get this makeup look I'm wearing right now. So if you wanna see how I get this bronzy summery makeup look with a pop of color on the lips, keep watching. So I'm gonna start off with my brows. I'm gonna brush these hairs into place. Grab my spoolie I have here. I got this mirror in the mail today from Tarte Cosmetics. I bought their new mascara. I'm gonna try that out today in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and first and go and shade the sparse areas in my brows in with the Milani, Milani Cosmetics, sorry about that, dark brown eye pencil. I'm just gonna lightly fill in the areas that are sparse. I already have full brows, so I don't have to do a lot. I'm just filling in those areas. And I'm gonna add, you know, I add a bit to my tail because I don't have a really long tail on my brows. Okay, just going in doing the same thing with the other brow. And a little goes a long way with this. You don't need a lot of concealer to clean it up. Just blend it out. It's okay if you get some on your lids because it's like pre-priming your lids for your eyeshadow. So don't worry about that if that happens. Go right in there and clean it up. Bleak them brows out, honey. So I just got dental surgery and I'm still recovering and it's like the funniest to talk right now. And so that's why I had to like pause on filming everything, but I feel well enough to do it obviously. It's just a little bit off on the speed. A little uncomfortable. Now I'm just making sure everything's symmetrical and even. Okay, so now that we have the brows finished, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face and get started with the foundation. Today, I'm going to use the Speckle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer and some Lower Jelly. I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my face before I apply my foundation. Just rub it in all over real good. A little bit goes a long way with this as well. So now that I have my foundation all blended out, I'm going to go ahead and add some um, brightness under my eyes. And I'm going to use the NYX HD Concealer. And this is like um, banana shade yellow. And just bring in a little bit of that brightness for some highlight before I set the face. You guys saw this in my last um, new products video I posted. So we're going to be trying it out. This will be like a first impression. Just dot a little bit under here. And I'm going to do like a triangle. Put it everywhere. I want to bring in a little bit of color. I will say I'm not huge on the applicator. I wish I can just drag it down, but the product is getting only on the tip of it, which is fine. You just gotta keep going back in the um, container. Just a little bit on the cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin. A little bit more around the eye. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. And I like the um, consistency of it because it's not too thick, so it's not like going to make my eye, under eye feel heavy or like creasing a lot. I do like it. I like the finish of it. And it is doing what I needed to do, bring a little bit of brightness in my face. After we've color corrected. 
And if you want some extra brightness, you can even go over with like an eye powder and set this. I am not going to do that today though. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face with my favorite right now, which is Airspun's Translucent Powder. Okay, so we have that done. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my same damn beauty blender. And I'm gonna set it with some of my hair spun. And I do enjoy setting my face with a damp beauty blender. I really like the finish of it. And I'm just pour a little bit in the lid here. And I'm gonna bake for a little bit under my eyes and then set the rest of my face. Okay, so now while we're letting the um, foundation bake a little bit and the um, setting hairspun I put there, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face with a translucent powder. And that way we are good to go, everything's staying in place. Love beauty blenders because they are just so multi purpose. I'm just patting that in when you use a beauty blender, you do not drag it across. You make sure you're bouncing it on the surface. And that's what's getting your product on and blend it out, distribute it evenly. Just lightly dust the ears. We didn't put a lot of product on there, a lot of foundation. Add a little bit more. Set the rest of the foundation. And if you're the type of person that likes to do this with a big brush, of course you can. You can do it with a foundation brush, bronze brush. I like to set my makeup with a damp beauty blender. Now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and prime the eyelids and we're gonna get into the eyeshadow look. So the primer I'm gonna be using today is one of my favorites, um, MAC Cosmetics Painterly. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on the lid, drop the top. And I'm just using my concealer brush to go ahead and apply that along my lids. And that way our Shadows are staying off, okay. So I'm just blending that out, making sure it's even on my lid. You want to go ahead and spread it out with your finger as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started with our shadow and our eye makeup look. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Lorac palette. This is the Ultra Eagle palette. It's like the summer. They had two little palettes. This one was like the summery bronze colors. And I'm gonna use this one today. It's really pretty and it's got a lot of bronze and summery colors, which is the look we're going for today on the lids. So I'm gonna first start off by putting it all over like neutral shade down, a skin tone shade. This is my transition color for blending. I'm gonna use my um, blending brush that I have from Sonya Cash It. I'm going to go in all over my lid with this shade here. It's like a nice little taupe color. I'm just gonna tap off the excess. And just go all over the crease and just bring it down. It doesn't need to be perfect because it's just a transition shade right in that crease there. And do that again on the other eye. Like I said, I always tap off that extra. Let's go ahead and place it down here. Now that we have our transition color down, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in. I'm gonna take another like blending brush, but it's a little bit smaller and tapered. And this is the Royal and Lang Nickel Brush. This is BX95. These are like vegan brushes, so they're really nice. 
nice to use. They blend really well and they'll be good on like um, very creamy pigments because it's like synthetic. And I'm gonna go ahead and use our darker brown here and I'm gonna pop that into the crease and make like a more of a definition there. And we're gonna place before we blend. And we're just putting that dark brown shade right into the crease and we're gonna go ahead and place it and blend it out. I'm gonna create a space right here just to make it a little nice and get the end with the shadow. Do the same thing as I said in my last tutorial. I do like to work from eye to eye, left to right, so I know that everything is nice and symmetrical. I'm gonna go back in on this crease and do the same thing. Right now it's just placement, we haven't started to blend yet. And I love this brush because it's so small that it can get the precision and then it can also blend it out. That way you don't lose the crease that you're trying to create. And as you see, I'm bringing it out just as far as the tail end of my brow is. I'm going to stop in there. I do want it to be a little bit deeper right in this crease before I do blend it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick up some more product. Go right in the mid part of this crease and add that color. Okay, so now that we do have that crease color placed down, we're gonna go ahead and grab another brush, also from um, Royal and Lang Nickel, and it's also a vegan brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out at the top, just so it's not harsh lines, and we still have our definition down here at the bottom. So I'm blending up here right at the tip of it. And with this pretty shade here, I'm going to mix these two bronzes together. And just add a nice little base color before we put our cream eyeshadow on the top. Go ahead and dust that up. As if you had like liner right there, cat liner on. Just that right up there. In the shape of a V. And you're just packing this on the lid. You're not doing any circular motions or anything like that. You're just packing this color right onto the lid. Don't worry about fallout. You do have that baking right under your eye. And go ahead and take a big brush and work. Wipe whatever fallout we have off. And we've set our foundation already. So we're good to go. We have it on the lid there and we have it packed on. So we're going to go ahead. We will still dip back into our palette for our under eye. But we're going to go ahead and dip into a color pop shade. The color pop shade I'm using for this look today is going to be Millionaire. It's one of my favorite bronzes as you can see. 
I'm already starting to hit pan. I use it a lot. I'm going to use the same brush because it is synthetic and the formulas of Color Pop, Color Pop uh, work better with synthetic brushes. And then I'm also going to go ahead with my finger because that's the best application for these kind of um, shadows. Once I place it, I'm going to go over the top just to amplify the color and make the pigment really come out and make it really bronzy. But first we're going to go ahead and pack that on to our lids here with our synthetic brush. See already, we do have a nice color and pigment payoff here. Doing the same thing, flicking it up into that V. But now that I do have that shade, just you know, distributed onto the lid, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the color out a little more, and I'm gonna put some on my finger. And just go ahead and spread it right on that lid, center of my lid. And as you can see, it brings the shade out a little bit better. Nice and gold. Nice and bronze. We're trying to look like j this summer, so. And Beyonce, so we need to be real bronzy. And I swear, when you use your finger, it really shows the true pigments of ColourPop shadows because they're just such a creamy, pretty formula. The only way to do it really is just her finger lid, just getting in there. And I like to focus a lot of the glow right on the center of the lid. I'm gonna go under my eyes and add some um, shading there. So I'm gonna take the same little tiny brush here and first go under with that chocolate shade. Go right there in my waterline. Just blend and smoke it out. Because we're going for that nice deep bronzy look, it's okay to really go ahead and add some smoke to this with this color. Alright, so we're going to go on with our next liner and add a little bit of cat eyes. So take your time, you don't have to worry about rushing, you can clean it up. You want it to be precise, not rigid. I already have like a shape for it because we have already blended that eyeshadow out into that E shape, which is nice. So we have that look we wanted already. We have a little matte for our liner here. And drag it down. And I fill mine in as I go. I'm 
And also when I'm starting to get to that tear dust, I open my eye and I go ahead and line it as well. Instead of lining it closed because I don't want it to get onto the bottom part of my eye, just go ahead and keep my eyes slightly open and I break, drag it down. Okay, so we got our liner down. We have our cat. Cat liner looking all good. So now this is going to be the first impression. I ordered the TARDIS new mascara of theirs, the um, paint mascara. And I am going to wear it today and we're going to see how it works. And I'm so excited. Here we go. So I can already tell you that I love how the wand separates the lashes. And that way I can really go ahead and add on layers of mascara and give it some volume. The formula is very black, which I enjoy. When I do my mascara, I like to wiggle them, wiggle them loose, the lashes, and roll them up to the gauntlets. Oh yeah, I like this mascara a lot. So I a lot of good reviews on it. It really coats every lash individually. So we are done with the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and get into a little bit of contouring and bronzing. And today for contour, I'm actually just going to use, um, lately I've been going back to NARS Laguna and just using it. I like that. It's a subtle contour. I love the color. It's not too harsh. It seems to match me. And it just gives me like a natural contour. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. contouring brush that I got from CVS that I really love. And I'm going to dip into Laguna. I'm going to tap off that excess and we're just going to go ahead and do a light natural contour. And we're going to also do some bronzing because this is a summer look. So I'm bringing it from here to here. So where my um, hairline starts and I'm just going to stop it. And I like to place my contour before I blend it. Same thing. It's just light and subtle and that way I can build it up. I don't have to worry about putting product on my face and it's just so harsh that it's gotten everywhere and I have to blend it and build it up. I can build it up instead of having to blend a lot of it out. Like that was a lot of product but it wasn't so harsh. Not nothing I can't blend. See it's just a natural contour. Nothing crazy. We can get crazy but that's not the look we're going for today. I'll do a dramatic look one day where I totally change my face shape just to show you guys the difference in contouring. I'm just blending that on up. And I like it too because it has a little bit of sparkle in it. Because I believe we're going as a bronzer. But I like the color as a contour as well. And so I like what we have here. I like it's nice and natural. It's blended enough to my liking. I'm going to go ahead and get a bigger brush and do some bronzing. And I think I am going to use my Morphe S19 brush today to go ahead and bronze up a little bit. And we are going to use this bronzer I got from another Black Street Charm. I really, really like it. This is Blowtorch, Blowtorch by this company called Interpronon. And I really, really like it. It's a lot. I've had it for a while. And it's a lot of product. I haven't hit pan yet. I love the color payoff. And we're just going to go ahead and press up a little bit. And 
and I just love the color of this bronzer. It's like perfect. I don't need a mirror to do my forehead that much. Lightly dust over that too. I just add a little bit of warmth to the skin. And see, I didn't even have to dip back into that pan because it's so pigmented. I'll even swatch it for you. Let me show you. This is pigmented. I don't have to go back and grab a lot of that. A little goes a very long way with this product. And right now I'm going to go into a blush. I did choose to pick like a peachy blush since the lipstick is going to be like a red orange. I want to kind of do a nice little peach color. I don't want everything to be like super bronze and dark. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. blush palette. And this one is in light. I have the light and the dark one. Now I'm going to go into this shade here. It's nice like peachy coral shade. Just pick up a little bit. I really love my Sonia Cashic blush, blush brush. That's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to just dip right into that. And add some blush. Where I don't have on my cheeks, you can bring it up. I do like to bring my blush, blush up a little bit. And see, look at the payoff. Look at the pigment of that. Didn't even need a lot. All you got to do is blend. really pretty. It's like a summery flush color. And I just bring it just a little bit up to my cheekbones. Now we're going to move on to highlighter. And before I put on a powder highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and use a cream one. I like to use cream and I also like to go with a powder highlighter. So I'm going to use another ColourPop product. This is a it's actually a cheek, like a blush, but I'm gonna use it as a highlighter because I like it as a highlighter better than a blush. And this is Butterfly Beach. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this with my finger and get some glow. Just put it over, and I actually put it slightly over top of the blush. That way, it's not a harsh line. It's like merging into the blush, and you don't just see like highlighter just sitting on top of it. And I like to bring it around like a half moon on my face, right? the tail of my brow is and just bring it up placing it down and I just love this I love this as the highlight is really pretty and pigmenting I'm gonna do the tip of my nose and I'm going to get another one of um, my Morphe brushes here and this is definitely for highlighting just pick up some product and go right over that cream And lay down some powder just to amplify it a little bit. Pulling that in up top. So I left. I definitely love highlighter. I like to go white like so. Press it on the tip of the nose just a little bit. I think that's enough glow. I am going to go in and take on whatever is left on my contour brush and just go under. Just to kind of diffuse some of that um, blush I have going on here. That's the first time I used that color and it's super pigmented. But I don't totally mind it. Okay, now last but not least, we're going to go ahead and use a nice bright pop of color for lipstick. And my choice is going to be one of my favorite liquid lipsticks out there. It is Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and I'm going to go ahead and shake it up. This is Anne Nicole, and it's one of my favorite colors. I have almost every one of his lipsticks. Just have a few more to get to have the entire collection. But this is one of my top colors. I like Posh Spice, Bow Pony, Celebrity Skin. Red Run is such a classic red. I'm gonna go in and do my lipstick.
All we have our lipstick on and we are done. Only thing we have left to do is set our makeup for the day and we are good to go. And I'm going to use one of my favorite makeup setting sprays next to Urban Decay's. So I'm going to use Scandinavian. Okay guys, so this is the final look. We are bronze, we are going, we are ready to take on the summer. I do hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you also learned something. Thank you so much again for coming back to my page and I hope you all have a great day.